Hey, my name is Zane Gray Rosten. I'm from App Member Side, and in this video, I'll show you how you can move your production uh, WordPress installation to a new test one where you can test it on, for instance, a site like Green Geeks. So, what I do have here is I have a WordPress installation that I would like to do some testing on. So, the first thing is I need to set up a domain for it, and we do this in subdomains. And we'll just select this and then call it as a PPI test two. And this creates a root domain. So we'll be using this one. And I hope it says creating. So now this domain has been created. And if we go to it here. maybe some of the DNS entries has not yet been updated around this uh, so it will maybe take a little while for, for it to be updated but we have a lot, of, a lot of other tasks we need to do first off was we want to have the file transferred from this and it's from this document route and we will select all the files here copy them to this, I guess that was wrong. Uh, we of course need to be sure we are coming to the right location. And as we can see here, we got an SAP PI test two, and that's good. So we select all again, copy. Test two, copy files. So now we have copied the files. Next up is we want to create a database for this. And we do this using this tool here uh, called in the, the databases. And let's create the, using the database visit. And this is called as a PPI test two as the database. And we want to create a user called the same. Is a P test. It's the user called and we will generate a password for it. Just copy this password. a separate location here on my desktop and I have copied this this one so we'll create this user that has access to this uh, database and it should have all privileges on this database so now we have created uh, a database called called SAP PI test two, a user called SAP test and with a specific password. So we'll go back here and then we will go to the PHP MySQL. This is a tool that exists on, on most databases. Then the challenge is to find this uh, domain that we've used, and I guess this is the right one. Uh, where you can see it is in this uh, WordPress. Well, the, the, the name here is the WordPress, and then it has a prefix, so you can use it in, in separate sites. And here we can see it has a site URL, and this is as a PPI for everybody, and this is where we can see well it's the right one we have so we want to export this database and we do this by just saying export uh, i like to have do the custom 
oh, we want the full database, not just this table. So we have to go to this one, to the, the database, select uh, custom. This will give us a, a drop down of all, a select area with all the databases. And we will then say, add drop table. This this means if we re-import this into any database, then it will erase everything and then recreate uh, the pages. And we'll just say go. This will create a SQL file. And what we can do is we can actually just go to this one, call two and say import and then we will go on what's called downloads and we have it right here we can see just from now it's an sql file and it uh, supports a pretty size uh, file and you can zip it if you want to have even more data in it so just say import and now it has populated all the different tables so what you want to do is to go into the options table and then you want to correct this Let's see if this one has started working yet you want to correct this url to the new site you have and there's also another one uh, with the same information. Uh, it's the, the home that we also need to update with the new URL. So now we have configured all these settings. Then the last thing is we need to go into this so uh, PI uh, test area and then we need to go in edit the WordPress configuration here and this one has a really nice editor we just say edit I hope it selected it uh, and here we have the database name and the database name is then is a PPI. Test and the user is, is a PPI test two and the password is this nice password. And we're still using the same host. Um, and these should probably be updated. Well, we're not using them, so it doesn't matter that much. Uh, so this is actually everything you need to do. And then it should be saved. Uh, and you should be able to, to access this using this uh, site you have here. So either there's something wrong with my DNS that this has to be populated uh, and we just have to wait to it's being refreshed or something else happens i will just update you on that so i did find the the solution that the solution was a problem was that i requested this site be, before it was flushed completely into the into the the dns system and then when it has requested that and don't know it doesn't exist then it doesn't work so i just added an extra www in in the dns and also updated the the wordpress installation and then i found that i had switched the the database and the database user and then everything work and I can use this as my new uh, set, uh, system. Um, if you don't remember your password because you're using the password uh, remember, 
then you can always uh, uh, say you have lost your password and then get a new password for it. So this is, uh, I guess I have lost my password for this. So this is why what I'll be doing. And then when I have updated this, then it's easy to, to just log in and edit this uh, WordPress installation. And if there's any changes that I want to, to apply, then work from there and create um, a fully new set of of pages and then if I want to to transfer them to to the other production system I'll do that using uh, the 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 database uh, transfer uh, or maybe the the import export if it's something else so I hope this has been a helpful blog and a video and it will show you something about how easy it is to create uh, these kind of pages uh, until we meet again goodbye